Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now to say I'm excited about this watch might be the understatement of the year. I've been waiting for this thing for months and months now and it is finally here. Yes, today we have the Seiko Prospects Paddy New Arnie 200 meter solar diver and this is model number SNJ027. And as usual, we're gonna open this thing up, look at all the features and functions, check out the build quality, wearability, and loom, and then I'll let you know how to think of this modern interpretation of the 1982 Arnie from Seiko. Also, make sure you check out my Amazon shopping channel for all of my favorite watches that I've reviewed on this channel, and be sure to visit my Teespring merch store and pick yourself up a t-shirt or a mug. Both links will be in the description field for you. Guys, I might be all over the place with this review. <laughs> I am so excited about this watch. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a spoiler. This is gonna be my watch of the year for 2019. That's how good this watch is. Uh, I've taken you know, a few hours to mess around with it, learned all of its features and functions. Uh, guys, before you even watch the review, go out and buy this watch. That's how good this new Arnie is. I just love it. There's one thing about it that drives me a little crazy. I'll tell you at the end of the review, but there's only one thing that I don't like about this watch, and even that's not really a big deal. So anyway, let's go ahead and open this thing up. Got your Seiko watch box here. There you go. Look at it, man. What a stunner. God, that's a good looking watch. Really cool. Get all these tags over here. Let me go ahead and tell you what these tags are. And then I'll show you what you get in the box. All right. First tag is your Seiko Prospects tag. You've seen these a million times. There you go. Second tag, because this is the Patty Special Edition, you got the Patty tag, and you got your ISO rated tag right there. You flip it over to the English side. There you go. So it conforms to the Diver's Watch Standard ISO 6425-2018 for 2018. Man, really cool. All right, what you get inside? You get your normal warranty stuff, warranty manual, your warranty card, but you get a different type of manual. Japanese in the front, English in the back. You're not even gonna need this, guys. That's how easy this watch is to operate. You really don't even need it. Very intuitive, easy to learn. This watch is awesome. <laughs> For lack of a better word, it's just simply awesome. All right, let's go ahead and put up the specs on the left-hand side the screen, then we will dive into this thing, man. There's a lot to talk about. You're looking at a 47.8 millimeter case. It's 15 millimeters thick. It's 50 millimeters lug to lug. It's on a 22 millimeter silicon strap. You've got a hard lex crystal. It's water resistant to 200 meters, which is 660 feet. You've got the H851 movement with a six month power reserve. You've got a screw down crown over here at three o'clock. You've also got screw down pushers over there at eight and 10 o'clock. The case back is also screw down. Of course, it's not windable, but it is hackable. You've got the day up there at 12 o'clock as well as the date up there at 12 o'clock on the LCD segment. Uh, you've got a power reserve function, dual time zone, alarm, stopwatch. You've got dual color Luma Bright and a backlit LCD display. You've got a 120 click bezel with a shroud and it is made in China. Guys, again, easily my watch of the year for 2019. This is packing one heck of a punch from Seiko. Um, I'm really impressed with what they were able to pull off. Gosh, I don't even know where to start, man. I guess let's go ahead and start with the dial. Uh, you've got all of these round indexes. Then you've got a couple that are like rounded rectangles slash ovals. Nice application of Lumabrite on the hands and the indexes. Uh, you've also got a little lollipop there on the second hand. Now the second hand has this red accent that it doesn't have on the two other versions. You can get an all black and you can also get a black and gold, but that's a Seiko exclusive by the way. But I like the patty version. I like that color pop of the red and the blue. I just think it looks really neat. Plus you get the dual color loom that I'll show you later. Um, just a fantastic, I mean, this watch is almost identical to the 1982 version, just some minor little differences, but guys, it's, you know, almost identical to that watch. Um, they did a fantastic job with the reinterpretation of this, uh, of this Arnie, man. It's just, wow, it's really good looking. Anyway, like I said, you've got, uh, you got a shroud right here on the bezel, uh, aluminum bezel insert, uh, the shroud, 
uh, has kind of like a dark resin. I can't really explain it. Uh, it's really hard. Uh, the bezel, here's the one thing I don't like about the watch. And I was really disappointed. Let me see if I can get the right lineup. Look at the, uh, the bezel, guys. It will not line up. You can make it line up. It's got good click action to it. And you can make it line up. But you have to do it like halfway. So normally, I just went past it. Sorry about that. Going too fast. There we go. So if you look right there, that's the next click. Next click. But that's a half click. If I was to click all the way, that's where it would line up. So you can make it line up if you really want to. But the fact that the bezel doesn't line up with the 12 o'clock index, it drives me a little bit crazy. But this watch is so cool. Honestly, I don't care. I'll just line it up by doing a half click myself. See, there you go. So, you know, it looks like it lines up perfectly, but if you were to actually click it one more time, that's where the actual click mark is. Not a big deal. This watch is so cool, I couldn't care less. <laughs> but it does. On the other hand, it drives me a little bit crazy. But anyway, I'm on the fence about it. But it's not going to, you know, it's not going to be enough to keep me from buying this watch. Absolutely not. All right, let's look at the pushers. Uh, everything is screwed down, including the crown and the pushers. To activate the pushers, you actually screw them in. And it's going to show you a little visual indication that the pusher is unscrewed. That little black kind of gasket right there. That little black seal. Let's do it with this one. It would have been kind of cool if they had made it red or something. But now you know these pushers are active uh, and they're not sealed. And of course, unscrew the crown. Has really nice kind of, you know, unscrew and screwing in action. Feels great. So let's go ahead and just go through the functions here. There is your basic time. It's showing PM right there. All right. It says Friday the 23rd. Uh, there's your local time right there. Stopwatch. Let me go ahead and uh, activate it for you. There you go. There's your stopwatch. So with the stopwatch, you just hold in the start button and it resets itself. Let me show you again. Press and hold. And it resets itself. There you go. There's your alarm, and it says AM right next to the number one. And now you're back to time. Now, the super cool thing about this watch is that the analog uh, hands and the digital display are synced. So whatever the digital display says, that's what the analog hands are going to do. So let me go ahead and show you how to set the watch. This is one of its coolest little tricks right here. Uh, all you do is pull the crown out. You'll see the digital display flashing. There you go. It's flashing seconds. You use this button down here to cycle through the different areas you want to set. So let's go ahead and set the uh, the minutes to, I don't know, let's go up to 45. With a four or five. Uh, let's do the hour for, let's say, 12. So this crown kind of acts like a smart access watch from G-Shock. I absolutely love it, man. Real easy and intuitive. So there you go. You can set the day and the month, year, okay? And then you can also do AM and PM. All right, now when I press this crown back in, watch the hands. And it's fast too. That is so cool, man. I know it's, I mean, it's not something super technical or elaborate, but it just looks so cool to see the hands do that. So there you go, man. Let me actually do it one more time. Let's pull it out. Let's set it back. What time is it now? It's about uh, 821 in the evening. Go to 21. And you can go backward and forward, which I like. All right, let's go for the hour. What does it say, AM right now? That's okay, it doesn't make a difference. All right, and then press the crown back in. Boom. That is really cool, man. I mean, the movement is the absolute highlight of this watch. Really cool. Now you also have another time zone if you want to do that. It'll show local time. So see where it says L right there? 
That's for another time zone. And that sets independently of the hands. Pretty cool, man. Really cool. So let me go ahead and tighten everything back up. And it's funny, to tighten the pushers, you actually loosen it. You know, normally you would think, you know, lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. Here's the exact opposite. Lefty-tighty, righty-loosey. There you go. So now the watch is buttoned back up. You know, it's sealed. It's good to go. And actually, let me show you one more thing. Let me open the pushers again. I keep wanting to turn right, man. All right. So push this pusher and hold for about, I don't know, two or three seconds. It'll show you the battery level, which is one through 10. You can see it's at a 10. And this is also the pusher you use to activate the LED backlight. And I'll show you that here in just a second too. It'll go back to regular timekeeping. There you go. There you go. Now you can also use this to determine what you want to see on the display at the top, whether you want to uh, basically uh, sync with the uh, analog hands where you're showing the time in two different places, or if you want to show the date, uh, or if you want to show your local time, or your another, you know, your your separate time zone. There you go. All right, let's go ahead and button everything back up. And before I show you the loom and try the watch on, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the strap and the keeper. Before I forget. Now, this Keeper is a modern interpretation of the Keeper on the 1982 model. It's just in metal. I love it. Some people don't like it. I think it's really cool. There's the case back. Now, of course, because this is a, uh, a patty version, it's a special edition. So it's got special edition written on there. And if you notice, let me see here. This was made, it looks like in June. There's the number right there. It was made in June of this year. So gosh, what, two months ago? I mean, these are hot off the presses, guys. And of course, it shows you the movement number, uh, divers watch 200 meters, stainless steel made in China, the Seiko Tsunami logo, uh, and of course, the Prospects logo and the Seiko logos. There you go. Uh, man, the strap is so comfortable. I also noticed it has drilled lugs. I didn't notice that before. You've got nice drilled lugs. And this strap reminds me of the strap on that Marine Master I reviewed, gosh, I don't know, two or three years ago. It's that soft and supple. It feels fantastic. Of course, you got the accordion right here. This is to help it fit over a uh, wetsuit. Helps it stretch out just a little bit. The lugs are a little bit short, and they're kind of angled straight out. You would think the lugs would be angled down more, uh, but they're pretty much going, I don't know, was it perpendicular to the case? Uh, is it perpendicular or parallel? Yeah, parallel to the case. Uh, but it, it still wears incredibly well, man. So let's look at the rest of the strap. you got the Seiko Tsunami logo at the end there. There you go. Of course, you got your buckle. It has Seiko branded stainless steel. Nothing on the top. But man, this thing is so comfortable. Let me go ahead and try it on, then I'll show you the loom. This watch is so comfortable. It's insane, guys. Golly! Are you kidding me? Wow. Oh, such a fantastic looking watch. And that movement, I mean, it really does justify its price. Uh, it's expensive for sure, but that movement alone, being solar powered and the analog and digital displays are synced up, uh, all screw down crowns everywhere. It's ISO certified. It's an actual diving watch. I mean, it's just, guys, you, you got to get this watch, man. All right, let me show you the uh, the loom both looms because of course you have the luma bright and you have the uh the led the watch doesn't want to come off my wrist there we go they go ahead and kill the studio light let's kill the monitor let me show you this loom here real quick now with the patty you get dual loom as you can see already You get the green and the blue. All the other ones do not have dual loom. They're just the green. There you go, man. It looks like it's blue on all the indexes and green on the luminous pip there at 12 o'clock and green on the minute hand. Man, this is such a cool watch. All right, let me show you the, uh, let me unscrew the pusher again. Or actually, screw it in. <laughs> Take a little, you know, getting used to to remember which way to turn this thing. All right. There you go. 
there's your display. I keep wanting to push the pusher without having opened it. Let me open this one. All right, so there you go. And there's your date. So anyway, you get the idea. Nice and bright, easy to read. Of course, the Luma is going to last forever because it's Luma bright. Man, easily my watch of the year for 2019, guys. Easily. Fantastic watch, man. God, I love this thing. I might actually get the uh, the black and gold version as well. That's pretty cool looking too, man. I have to admit, really good looking watches. They did a fantastic job with this thing. I thought there'd be maybe a, a signed crown, but there's not a signed crown on this one, which I thought was, you know, I don't know. It's something they maybe overlooked or just didn't want to do for whatever reason. But uh doesn't really make much of a difference. Nice polished crown. Uh, you got a lot of grip on here. The screw in and screw out action. The pop action is nice when you unscrew it. It's got a nice crown pop to it. Screws in nice and easy. Feels really good. There you go. So guys, man, that's really been about it for this one. Um, now head on over to Amazon if you want to get one. They're currently between about $500 and $550. The patty version is going to be a little bit more. Uh, you can find them cheaper on eBay as well. Uh, I like to deal with Amazon when I can because I just I know Amazon's customer service is just beyond reproach. Uh, I've never had a problem with Amazon ever. Uh, anyway, I'll make sure to put a link in the description field for you if you want to head on over to Amazon and pick one up. Again, two flavors are on sale on Amazon right now. That's the patty version and the all black. And then the black and gold, again, is the Seiko exclusive. And I think that's $550. And these, I think, are around uh, between like $499 uh, to about $525, something like that. So go out there and get this watch without hesitation. You will not regret it. Uh, I love this watch. Again, easily my watch of the year for 2019. Go out there and get one, man. And as always, make sure you like and subscribe and click that notification bell. I really appreciate when you do that. And guys, thanks for watching this review. I hope you're as excited about this watch as I am. Go out there and get one, man. All right, until the next one, I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.